Is Gabriel Ansley Herb a false prophet? Have you come across this name recently? Or maybe you've seen his message, 2028 End. So who is he? Who is Gabriel Ansley Herb? Can he be trusted? Or has he spoken false prophecies in the past? Well, we're going to look at the facts in this video. Then you can decide if he's a false prophet or not. Number one, the only date Gabriel has ever proclaimed for Christ's return is Feast of Trumpets 2028. And he's been proclaiming this date for 15 years now, ever since 2008. Before 2008, Gabriel had no message from God. He worked as a carpenter his whole life and was never in ministry. But Gabriel claims to have received his message from God in a single year, Rosh Hashanah 2007 to Rosh Hashanah 2008. And he quit his job to write the message down in a book that same year, 2008, entitled Undeniable Biblical Proof, Jesus Christ Will Return to Planet Earth Exactly 2,000 Years After the Year of His Death. Throughout that 2008 book, which is registered with the Library of Congress, Gabriel prophesied Christ will return in the year 2028. In chapter 1, God's Master Time Plan, Gabriel wrote this on page 22. Now, day 7 represents the coming 7th 1,000 year period of mankind on earth, which will run from AD 2028 to AD 3028. This millennial day will be ushered in with the fiery return of Jesus Christ to planet earth during the year 6000, or the end of the sixth day. See, Gabriel was prophesying Christ will return Earth's 6,000th year, and that 6,000th year will arrive A.D. 2028. On page 36, he wrote this. Why do I believe A.D. 2028 is the year of Christ's second coming? Because there is a huge biblical secret the Spirit of the Lord revealed to me in A.D. 2008 that I have already alluded to in this chapter which points like a neon sign to A.D. 2028 as the 6,000th year of mankind's history. The amazing secret is, Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection absolutely occurred during mankind's 4,000th year of history on earth. Eighteen times in his 2008 book, Gabriel wrote the date of 2028 as the year of Christ's return. Never has he ever spoken another year for Christ's return. So if you think about it, for 15 years now, Gabriel has been correct. For Christ has not returned yet. And it's now 2023. Number two, Gabriel has never believed or taught pre-tribulation rapture theory. He made this very clear in his 2008 book. There will be no pre-trib rapture. In the Lot chapter, on page 143, he emphatically wrote, Friend, there will be no rapture event seven years before Christ returns. He is coming back once, and it will be at the sound of a trumpet during year 6000, immediately after the great tribulation of the Antichrist's reign is finished. See, Gabriel has always taught the rapture, or the catching away event of the saints, only happens on the last day, at Christ's return, Earth's 6000th year, Feast of Trumpets 2028. On that day, Gabriel prophesies all the wicked on earth will perish in fire. On page 144 of his book, he wrote, Friend, make no mistake about it. The entire surface of planet earth will be destroyed by fire during Jesus' second coming, and only one house of righteous souls will be saved from the annihilation. 
And again, on page 146, he wrote, Friend, the rapture of the saints and the destruction of the wicked will take place on the same day. It will happen exactly like the stories of Lot and Noah prophetically reveal. It is the great day of the Lord's wrath at Christ's second coming, and nothing will survive on planet Earth. So understand, Gabriel has consistently taught since 2008 there will be no rapture until Christ's return, Feast of Trumpets 2028. Subsequently, for 15 years now, Gabriel has been correct about this also, for no rapture has happened. Number three, Gabriel never taught the final seven years will begin with Antichrist making a peace treaty. He's never believed that doctrine. Instead, in his 2008 book, in the Noah chapter, page 102, Gabriel said this is what will happen seven years from the end. But, no matter what it means exactly, allow me to say for the record, the details of Noah's house entering the ark seven days before the deluge began most certainly has prophetic meaning. And in the book of Daniel's prophecies, one day equals one year. Thus, let me forewarn you to be on the lookout for something very spiritually important to occur around A.D. 2021. These words from Gabriel were fulfilled through the global pandemic that occurred around the year 2021. Literally years 2020, 2021, and 2022. During that time, God put the people of the world in a much needed time out. He did this through quarantines that closed workplaces, churches, bars, theaters, concerts, etc. What better way to give the people of the world a chance to rethink their lives than to arrest them, forcing them to stay in their house? It was a massive global spiritual event. God was offering everyone an easy opportunity to go a new way. If they weren't living right, make a change. And God had prophesied this great spiritual event that would happen seven years from the end through Gabriel Ansley Herb in 2008. Number four, Gabriel has never taught the final seven years are the Great Tribulation. Only the last three and a half years are the Great Tribulation. On page 99 of his 2008 book, he wrote, There is a biblical theory claiming the Great Tribulation, spoken about by Christ and described in the book of Revelation, will be contained in a final seven-year period on earth leading up to Christ's second coming at year 6,000, and the setup of his earthly millennial kingdom. See, this was never Gabriel's belief. He was merely stating there's a theory out there saying that. Gabriel knew the final seven years would be an important block of time in God's eyes, from the details in the story of Noah. But the Great Tribulation would only be the last three and a half years of those seven years which will run from spring 2025 to Christ's return, fall 2028. So now that we're in the year 2023, one and a half years into the final seven years, does it look like trouble is on the horizon? Yes. Gabriel prophesied the final seven years would begin in the fall of 2021 and they arrived with a global pandemic, spreading fear everywhere, killing over six million people worldwide. Never before has a pandemic covered the globe like this. It's unprecedented. Then just five months into the final seven years, February 24th, 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. It was supposed to be a simple three-day war 
but instead it's turned into a vicious war that's been raging ever since. It's bloomed into a proxy war between NATO and Russia. The West versus the East. USA versus Russia. And many countries are involved in this war. Nuclear threats abound. It's insane. It's like World War III has already begun. And there seems to be no end in sight to this war. With each passing day, the anger builds at the atrocities committed. One would have to be blind not to see the trouble coming. Just ahead, 2025 through 2028. On the very last page of Gabriel's 2008 book, page 429, he wrote these ominous prophetic words. Planet Earth is barreling towards some very dark days in the not-too-distant future. So terrible and horrible that I dare not mention them. The prophetic stories, parables of Noah, Lot, and Joshua are about to be intricately fulfilled. For Jesus is coming with his angels to put an end to Earth's wickedness by consuming its surface and godless inhabitants with a raging fire. It's not hard to see Gabriel's words setting up for fulfillment 2025 through 2028. Number five. God has made over a dozen 2028N confirmations validating the message in Gabriel's 2008 book. I'll tell you about one of these right now, but please investigate them all sometime at 2028end.com. On March 4th, 2020, 12 years after writing his book, Gabriel discovered the fire station in his small town of Donaldson, Tennessee is number 28. Up until then, Gabriel didn't even know the fire stations in Nashville had numbers. But Donaldson's fire station is number 28 out of 41 fire stations making up Nashville's fire department. Donaldson is where Gabriel wrote his 2008 book. It's where he received his message from God. It's where he prophesies Christ will return in fire 2028. And now he's learned his local fire station is number 28. That's amazing. That's shocking. Donaldson's firehouse has two fire trucks that now have huge number 28s decaled all over them. And they ride past Gabriel's house every day, day and night, with sirens blaring and lights flashing. Gabriel's life is surreal. Number six. God put a special call on Gabriel's life in 1983. Forty years ago, when he was just a 12-year-old boy. From the introduction of his 2008 book, page one, he writes... Two years later, when I was 12 years old, my father noticed an ad in the local newspaper about a traveling prophet who was coming to a church in a nearby town. Intrigued, Dad decided our family should go. Now, we had never stepped foot in the church and did not know anyone there. But near the end of the prophet's preaching, he walked back the central aisle, pointed at me and said, Stand up, son. Do you know God gave you your name? For your name is Gabriel and God's placed the creativity of four men inside of you. Son, you will be like John the Baptist in the last days preparing the people to meet the Lord, for God is going to place you in a position to be able to influence multitudes of people. Listen, in 1983, there was no internet. There was no social media. There was no smartphones or smart TVs. But since then, these things have been created. And now the word influencer 
has been coined to refer to someone with a large following on the internet. Well, this is the very word the prophet used over Gabriel's life back in 1983. You will be put in a position one day to be able to influence. That's remarkable. The position was the internet and the job was an influencer where Gabriel is now preparing multitudes of people to meet the Lord. It's astounding. So in summary, in wondering, is Gabriel Ansley Herb a false prophet? We have zero evidence of that. He's never spoken a false date. And the words spoken over him in 1983 have come true. He's like John the Baptist. He received his message from God in a single year, in 2008. And he wrote it in a book that same year, entitled Undeniable Biblical Proof, Jesus Christ Will Return to Planet Earth Exactly 2,000 Years After the Year of His Death. So far, everything he's written in that book has come true. The final seven years arrived in 2021 with a great spiritual event. No rapture has happened. And now we're headed towards the great tribulation to begin in 2025, followed by Christ's return three and a half years later. Feast of Trumpets, 2028. Additionally, we learn God has performed over a dozen 2028 end confirmations, validating Gabriel's messages from him. What else do you need? In this world of countless false prophets, speaking all kinds of fake words and fake dates, Gabriel has been one of the few bright lights with a consistent message from God, backed up by many miraculous signs and wonders. There's no proof Gabriel is a false prophet. It's the opposite. We have lots of evidence supporting he's a true prophet of God. I'd sure hate to speak against him. We should see the world take a turn for the worse in 2025, which will continue to confirm Gabriel's words are the truth. And last, but not least, is Gabriel's salvation message. God didn't raise Gabriel up to just prophesy the time of Christ's return. He raised him up to deliver to the world the absolute truth of salvation. Churches today are full of demonic salvation doctrines, dooming millions to hell. But Gabriel's message clears it all up. It perfectly reveals what God had to do for us so we might have eternal life and what we must do so we might have eternal life. This message is contained in Gabriel's 2008 book, as well as his video series, The Salvation Equation. In this age of massive deception, Gabriel's message is a beacon of hope, giving you the best chance to obtain eternal life. Please don't miss it.